time for more of that sweet, sweet Vampire Survivors DLC. Operation Guns is coming at you hard. Lucia Zero is going back to Neo Galaga. Let's start messing around. Alrighty. So, I have enough to go for nothing but Operation Guns stuff. Let's see. Uh, what's hers? Oh, she's got that laser gun. So, what goes with that? Art of Fire. Artifier goes with everything. Oh, it goes with homing missiles too. Or multi stage missile too. Oh, that's Brad Fang's thing. Ooh, it bounces. No, it doesn't. That's another gun. Oh, they look very similar. What about here? Okay, Geo Crystal it is. Oh, it's a laser. Right, yeah, Brad's next, so that means she's got... Oh, re-rolls. Well, that's... Interesting. Hollow heart, yes. Oh. See you, laser. Base damage up by 5, base speed up by 20. Right. Ooh, I don't know what actually of all this, do I? Okay, let's think about what it could be. Well, that's not Bracer, but I need Bracer for short guns, so... Let's see... Mm. Pew pew! More laser! Pew pew! Actually, that means the freeze isn't very helpful. Yeah! Maybe without a bounds later. Attack speed is not great. Start out with three revives with her, though. Pew. Pew pew. I mean, it's basically instant, so the speed doesn't really help. Hmm. Calibrator War would be nice. It's probably what's going to evolve with, isn't it? Yeah, let's start getting rid of things. Candle Arbiter would make a lot of sense. Oh. Oh, grenade. Nice. Wait. What else would it... Would it really have a good chance of going with? Yeah, she's really good at hitting those. Sure would be nice to get another weapon. Out of bounds without, or jail crystal without out of bounds to beef it up. Has its problems. Candle armor to wear. Do you think that's the right move? Well, doesn't look like it increases the size. Uh oh. Well, what else would? It, let's see. Oh, she'll get a stat buff when she goes down at least. Hey, fly on fire. Oh, I'd still take damage in this. What is it good for? Oh, 20 health, cool down, cool down. Wow, that's a lot of stats, huh? Is it random? Hey, chicken. Boom, grenaded. Boom, grenaded again. Hey, long gun. Now I actually have something to hurt enemies with. Barely. Alright, I should just go grab the other weapon power-ups, shouldn't I? It's not like I don't have the time. I have all the time in the world. Oh, hey, I picked up another laser. It's over here. There we go. Alright, I can't actually evolve all of them. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Sure hope I get to see you later, because I need that for Brad. So I unlock Hectic Highway, and that's where Brad is. Which means I'm going to have to do one of the other characters to get it to unlock Brad. 
Brad Fang. Also, Brownie's here. Oh, wait, maybe it's Tier Jisoo because it's innate to her? The revival stuff? Okay, so the fire does do damage. This terrible area. Effect lasts longer and base damage up. More fire, I guess. Yeah, maybe not as... Doesn't seem very good as a solo weapon. Maybe if I had more cooldown, you know, with Empty Tomb. Also, boy, I hope I grab whatever upgrades it. Cause I'm going so many guns, it's a risk. Only so many cases I could grab. What could it be? Doesn't look like Candle Arbor actually affects it, so probably not it. Spellbinder. Spellbinder could make sense, yeah. It's sticking on the ground like that. Oh, there goes that barrier. Yeah, it doesn't look like it got any bigger at all. Hey, Aura Logan. Didn't want to go too far in. Oh, so I should stay closer to the thing. Oh, one more projectile. Man, I'm just not getting anything for passives, huh? Now there's so many more weapons now, but geez, kind of ridiculous. Sort of in the problem with all the characters, they have just not been getting what they need very quickly. I know that happens a lot on the Beswick. But still, it's more ridiculous. Are there even 12 passives to evolve with? I mean, when I get the Armadillo, I'll be able to double check it. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't maxed out. Yeah, it's probably going to end up being Spellbinder. I don't think what else it would be. Definitely something that would have been great with the beginning. It's really weird. You could do some decent wave clear, but I don't have anything to really benefit it that much. Just because of bad luck. Such bad, bad luck. Oh, and am I on fire? I'm on fire. Clear through them. Hey, there's shortgun. Now I got some clear, piercing clear. Hopefully it'll do something. Or not. Let's see, there's only four on the map. I really don't want to risk running the. Well, I can hold off on getting the other two. The sword. Hey, good chicken. Hold off on getting the sword and the claw till I evolve the slay laser into the double CU laser. Well, whatever it evolves into. Man. This is kind of absurdly bad luck with the passives. Probably just gonna want to keep sealing guns just so something shows up. And of course, it's only Pumrola. It's definitely not Pumrola. I can tell that for certain. Da 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 da. Oh, and it doesn't annihilate the boss of one goo. Decent against them, though. So, how are you enjoying the Operation Guns DLC? Some of these weapons are crazy strong, especially once they involve 
This one, its base doesn't seem all that great. Getting in the beginning probably would have been a better pickup now that I'm seeing how it plays. Leaving it sort of default-ish, so I don't want to play around with it too much since I used it so much beforehand. Pew pew. Man, just the luck at getting anything has been terrible. I know that's been sort of the standard here, but still. I don't want to grab the armor deal yet. I could have grabbed the other weapon cases. Oh, grenade, nice. Uh, not going to be able to evolve short gun just yet, or long gun. Wait. She's four, and then there are two on the map. Yeah, no, there's three on the map, so I could have... Oh, well. Oh, well, I'm getting so many grenades with her. Health, I guess. Probably won't matter that much. Racer, racer. See, I'm gonna want duplicator for sure with this. It's one of the extras. I mean, it has to be spellbinder. So far, it's the only one that's actually doing any sort of effect like that. That would would actually you want spellbinder. It's not like my levels have been wasted or anything, but the dragon's here, and I haven't picked up the armadillo yet. Uh, da, 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 da. Want duplicator, hollow heart, racer, base. I could get some damage. No, I want spellbinder. I said I wanted spellbinder. So give me spellbinder. There we go. Yeah, yeah, spellbinder. You want Spellbinder with this. That's a crazy level of difference already. Oh, there's one. Maybe it doesn't evolve with Spellbinder. Or I just got unlucky. Nope, oh, empty tome. It evolves the spread gun. And you know, empty tome in this is going to be very good. I need one, two, Oh. Just need one more passive. The alien tome is better, it affects more. So you got spread gun, multi stage missile, duplicator comes from Armadillo. Uh, let's see. Spread gun goes off empty tome, because of course it does. Oh wait, I should check to see if this got Iron Blue Wield or something. Well, at least I can see what's happening on the screen a lot. Pew pew pew. Oh, more Spellbinder Greatness. Yeah, it's so, so much longer now. I got Torona's box in the even better. Yep, now yeah, they're realistic around. Probably gonna be much bigger once I get it evolved. Maybe we'll actually get benefit of Kano Arbador then. Of course, that means Lost and Found Painting would actually be very good with her. Or well, with this gun. I don't want any of that. More of that. Take some of that though. What else would benefit? Alright, I have one more passive to pick up, then I can actually go exploring. These are not guns. I think I'll just take the damage just so I can move out. Okay, Armadillo, Armadillo. 
Okay, not armor, not pummel, duplicators for multi stage missile, that's time warp. None of these would make sense, I think. Let's get duplicator to fire out more of a beam. More beams. So I think. Yeah, look at that. What the heck happened? Uh. I think the game glitched out. Pretty sure that isn't supposed to happen. Nice. Caught on camera. Nope, oh, duplicator. Two. Oh, hey, a small clover. In the vacuum. Yay, levels. Sure doesn't want to give me other stuff I want. Eh. I don't think the Arcana is going to be important here as it with with the other guns. Wait. Missiles and claw. Oh, hey, an exploding car. Yeah, that exploded nice and good. Oh, hey, the bikers. I don't think I've seen them on screen actually yet till now. Well, she's very good at clearing through the bridge. Yeah, once it gets strong off, you can create a nice little corridor to run through. That's will be good for a lot of maps. Let's see. Spread gun. Multi-stage missile. I mean, I know I could get him, but I want to just get all six of the guns. Or I guess go pure... Whatchamacallit? Pure Operation Guns guns. No more base guns. Only Operation Guns guns. Yeah, that makes sense. So I need the spread gun. Which I did unlock, right? I beat it with her, right? Grab this nice little arm with you. Hmm. I would... Well, let's think about what else will show up. Brad Fang's Gatling gun. Oh, who knows what that would go up with armor. Brownie's gun. Armor. I don't know, I'm just going to get Tarona's box. I really think it's Spellbinder, because, you know, it stays on screen. So that would make some sense. I'm not sure what else would. I mean, why would a... Oh, Tear G duh. And a shortgun. Which means Spellbinder doesn't actually evolve this, huh? That's unfortunate. Okay, there's one more, and then the claw. Well, I should just grab this now. Get spread gun. I'll try to get spread gun. Hmm. Alright, I got two more of the cases. Wait, where did I get a reroll from? The bad luck holding out. 14 should be another chest boss. Wings is here, Wings is saving me. Wait, where's my Arcana chest? Huh. It's not like they're really threatening, but still, this is way more on the screen than they've been getting. The Art of Fire was doing a lot of work. Probably was actually my most damaging thing. Just I couldn't see it because I couldn't scroll down. Okay, right now I can evolve the sea later. And the missile. Damage up. Let's just do one more enemy. Oh, spread shot. Okay, just don't level it up. 
and if need be, stop it from hitting rank 8. I mean, if Spellbinder doesn't do it, I really don't know what else would go up with the laser. Can Arbitor doesn't make sense. Or, Can Arbitor I have as well. Yeah, let's grab these, just so I have less to use. Where is that dang Arcana chest? No, they're actually getting in, because I don't actually have that much clear. And let's take you out walking thingamajig. Multi-stage missile. Whatever it is, it's not Spellbinder, unless I just had a really bad log for Can Labrador. Well, that's just good to pick up, regardless. Man, I just don't know what else it could be that wouldn't get silly. I mean, she evolves with Tirajisu, or she has revived it built. Sometimes it's sort of built like that. Like, there's no hints, like, with Moonspell or Foskari. For everything to evolve was on the map. Just can't get it to eight. Below that's fine. Do I just want to look it up? You know, I am in the Discord, it's not too hard. This is my last chance. My last escape from Raccoon City. Uh, if it didn't unlock a character, if it didn't unlock a stage and a character, I would have stuck to my guns and not looked it up. But I'm going to be a coward and do it. So I was on the right track, it was Tier Jisu. Probably what I would have gone for, honestly. If I hadn't taken the coward's way out. Oh, uh, is there a chest yet? No. Still can't get a spread shot up yet, because I that's my last case I have here. It's gotta be saved for this gun. Alrighty, what are you called? Pronto beam. Of all C laser. Lasers split into multiple beams when they hit. Oh. That's crazy. Like holy crap. Uh, yeah. Do I control this at all? Okay, that's absurd. Like it was okay at base, but this power spike. I, I think that's the biggest power spike. Like, not even Lucky Swipe into Cross Wires is. Okay, Clear Debris into Clear Asteroids, definitely more. Because Clear Debris is terrible. Uh. Oh, hey, they got more rerolls out of nowhere. Oh, I should check to see if those actually did anything. That's the one I have, right? Yeah, so these are going to explode now with Twilight Requiem. And everything is going to be annihilated. Okay, yeah, so if I grabbed Twilight Requiem instead of GL Crystal, this would have been toast at a time. Laser light show. That is uh, absolutely ridiculous evolution. Like Jiminy Christmas. Oh my gosh. Swears. 
Da da da. Oh right, I still have to go get the metal claw to max out. Hey, now I can't actually turn you into big fuzzy fists. Hey, let's go grab that vacuum so I can level up. Oh right, I forgot to do that other thing. I forgot to do so many things. It's astounding how much I've forgotten to do. Oh, right, get the vacuum. Ah, time for that delightful 19 minute rant time. Ooh, so much. So, first off, thanks for watching. Got a bit of kick in the channel effect in this, so if you like, commented, or oh no, it's commented yet. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, please do. <laughs> oh, I feel like such a shill constantly saying that. I mean, does it work? If someone says subscribe, do you subscribe? If someone says comment, do you comment? I don't. I just do what I want to do. Just what most people do. If it works, it works. And I am nothing if not a soulless husk for content. I should have named the channel that. Soulless husk for content. Hey, at least I'm finally getting Starship Troopers Extermination recorded. They're way too long. You can actually see why I named my channel this. It's because that's my bloody steam name. Kinda, maybe. Yep. It's, it's absolutely crazy. Not only because I just ran into enemy that they're even remotely getting close. The numbers are only worse just because... Wait, what? Oh, duh. The kill count's only terrible just because I spent so long with nothing. That go. Yeah, that's just better than that's like no future. Like this with no future, you could take down anything. Heck, they both even get probably requiem, right? It doesn't look like it gets the kid offer to work though. Uh, heck, the brace area is good pickup too. Chronos box as well. Yeah. It's not like 5% speed is going to do anything, but still. Once you get this on a solo weapon run, boy, you just hit the win button, huh? Why am I suddenly thinking about Christine's solo weapon? Probably because it was a nightmare to do. Why did I think that was remotely a good idea? I basically even cheated my way through. Well... I mean, I didn't fully cheat on account of not... Oh, hey, here you are, finally. Uh, it affects all the drones. Game killer. I mean, more revives would be okay, but I'm not going to go down. Hulu, Serbande. Tragic first, this doesn't affect this. Does Gemini... Nope, that's the sword only. Nothing from Astronomy. Slash. Does not. Mad Groovin is mad of a way. Yeah, Iron Blue Wheel for bouncing. That's a different one. Out of bounds. Beginning. Hmm. Well, I think I would prefer more lasers. Yep, I prefer more lasers. That's absurd. The enemies are actually pretty absurd as well. They're actually even showing up on screen anymore. In fact, when this isn't firing, our screen clear is actually pretty weird. Oh, this is going up faster than it was for Lance Bean and Ariana. So, maybe she'll actually break 100k. I actually got it evolved sooner. You know, now that I know what it does, 
Ah, uh, oh, it's the second way of giving me a nightmare. Hmm. Actually, should I just go straight into second wave with them? Be a good way to show off all the weapons right away. Same thing with. Yeah, in fact, that's what I'm gonna do before I go back to third wave. I'm gonna do second wave right off one of the characters that need second wave. Okay, empty chest. Alright, let's go stick it out in front of Big Fuzz. Man, that's a lot of lasers. Get this in phase effect. So many weapons. Man, it's maybe one of the strongest weapons in the game. What? What is this? I don't remember seeing you before. Huh. I mean, maybe I didn't notice it. That looked weird. Right? Like, that was clearly a boss, and I don't remember any of the bosses looking like that. Yeah, that's why I'm... No, just evolving the weapon unlocks it. That means actually I'm going straight over there next. With one of the other characters, because I gotta go unlock Brad Fang. Good thing I have other characters to unlock. Or that I've been unlocked. Actually, it'll probably be Robo Protector. Ro Pro Protector. Or that one. Because it was the first one I unlocked, and I already have it. You know. Set. Man, look at those lasers go. You know, laser light shoe doesn't have this many laser lights. Crazy good. Oh. I almost speed broke into the arena for the boss. And I did. Wait, can I go up the wall? No. It's specific for when the boss fight actually happens. As it should be. Oh man, what a great combination. Could have gone out of bounds, that way it would have been exploding even more. Kill count would have gone much faster. I prefer the lasers. And also, that's what wave 2 in is for. Thing I saved the templates, it did delete them like a dingus. Operation Guns. Have you unlocked everything yet? Probably. It's been a couple days. I'm basically recording this just a few hours before it goes live because I procrastinate like a madman. Also, I really wanted to play some Starship Troopers Extermination finally. Bye bye, Taka. May you enjoy your worth in the waking world. I never played Bloodborne, I didn't have a PS4. Also, it just didn't interest me the way Dark Souls did. The hottest of hot takes. Ow, get off me, bug. Should I go grab the sword for hahas and giggles? You tell me, viewer. You tell me. Wait, what? Oh, I'm. Oh no. Okay, so I speed broke through. I got really confused. I thought maybe there was an entrance on the right that I hadn't noticed. Oh man, I'm not gonna get close to 100k. I guess the raw damage you will throw as in spinach doesn't account for it. Maybe if I got him to start off better. I have to read anything. Hand Labrador and taking out Hollow Heart. No, oh, what else would have boosted though? Crown levels, sure. And then 
mean, that's about it. I guess I could have fallen. And she's gonna go with, like, the least kills yet? It's around here somewhere, right? Alright, I can still move. Let's start up top. Oh, right, I fall. It's so hard to tell what's going on. Oops, I fell. Okay. Oh, no. Oopsie daisy. Oh, hey, an exploding barrel. Okay, that's the CU laser unlocked, as well as Hectic Highway. Aw, oh, yeah. 52 million from the Pronto Beam. Because, oh boy, that's like half what Godai Shuffle got in a fraction of the time. Yeah, if I... Oh, man. That weapon goes, it's going to go hard. But next time, it's going to be... Probotector over on the Hectic Highway. Contraforce, rev your jet bikes. It's time to drive fast and fire fast. Red Falcon traders are invading the C1 Highway for some treasonable reason, and we need you to defend our crucial infrastructure. Aw, yeah. And Lucia has shown us the power of the Pronto Laser in her run on the Vampire Survivor's Beswick. Beating every stage with every character has hardly has been as easy as that weapon is going to be. Alright, next up, like I said, it's going to be Robo Protector, or Robo Protector over here on Hectic Highway. Just a bit offside. Thanks for watching. The Vampire Survivor's Beswick 155 has continued strong. Like if you like the challenge, dislike if you do not, give a comment if there's anything you want to see in the future for the third wave and beyond, and a subscription if you want to support the channel. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and keep messing around.